This is the first application I've seen in, a, in the dental space of nitinol. And what the heck is nitinol? Nitinol is probably the coolest material that you can ever learn about. If you're ever gonna learn about one material you've never heard of, look up nitinol. It's uh, N-I-T-I-N-O-L, nitinol. So nitinol is um, what's called a shape memory alloy. Alloy just means multiple metals. Uh, shape memory means it remembers what shape it was in. Okay. How does it do that? Um, when you mix nickel and titanium in the right way, you get nitinol. And nitinol, when you heat it up and you hold it in a certain way, let's say you make a paperclip shape and you let it cool down, and then you have a paperclip. If you bend it all out of shape, now you have a very bent paperclip. But if you warm it up just a little bit, like you put it in hot water, it'll snap back into that paperclip shape every time. No matter how many times you twist it out of shape, no matter how much you try, it will always go back. They make, they use this all the time, like in rocket ships, the decoupling mechanism is nitinol activated. Stents, kidney stone extractions. Uh, nitinol is basically the super material that changed medicine forever. Mm -hmm. Because nitinol is something you can interact with without touching it, which is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Most things like, oh, I want to bend this metal. You have to like go in there and bend it. But with nitinol, from over here, I can heat it up using induction heating. Induction heating is like sending heat somewhere else. Um, so I can use induction heating and I can change that metal shape from over here. That's pretty cool, that mm -hmm. changes the game. And so we, as Smilock, we introduced nitinol into, that's how we hold your teeth in your mouth. Before, all they had to do was, we have to touch the metal in order to change it. And yeah. so the way they did that was screws, mm -hmm. you know this. Uh, but at Smilock, we can hide what's connecting your teeth to your bone by being able to interact with it without touching it by using nitinol. And we're the first people to ever do that. We're the only people who can do that because it took 15 years of research and development to get it through the FDA, to get it classified as a technical, uh, as a medical device, to get it uh, through clinical trials, to have hundreds of thousands of patients who have had it successfully put into their mouths. Uh, no one else can do this. You can't go anywhere else. And we tried. <laughs> we were like, try this out. And mm -hmm. people were like, that's oh, too complicated. But we can do it. Mm -hmm. uh, we can do it really well. We have been doing it for a long time. And it's awesome. And